do for a while now is get this router away from this area because it's like right next to my head while I'm sleeping. And I don't know if that makes a difference, but I feel like it can't hurt to move it, so. The first problem is that the cable modem only has an outlet right here. So unless we wanted to, I don't have a coaxial cable that long. I think the first thing to start with is to put the router where I want that to go. Place the router first and then we'll work everything else around. Next, I have a 50 foot ethernet cable that's already running over here. I can hook it up to the router to the cable modem, but then that still doesn't solve the problem of the network switch is over there. Actually, I think this is probably a better spot. Slightly better signal, still away from my head. This cable is long enough to reach from here to there, but I don't think it is. No. So, not a perfect solution, but the cable one is right here, hooked up to the wall. This is running over here, using an extension cable to get to the router. The router's plugged up right here and moves over to the network switch. Over here, which is plugged up to the cable modem, to my computer, to the printer, and to the systems over there. The line for my computer runs all the way along the floor here and into the computer. So not an exactly ideal setup, but at least the router's away from my face and everything's still hooked up. So <clears throat> it'll do. It will do. They always do. Okay, time for a run. You know, I've talked about this before, but by the end of any season, I'm really sick of that season. I'm like, okay, it's time to move on. Winter, it's time to move on. Okay? You've had your fun, I've had my fun, it's time for spring. So it would seem that the microphone was not on just now, but I was talking about Devilman Crybaby. I just binged it last night and this morning. Amazing show. Usually I'm not into like horror and gore at all, but from start to finish, I was like super impressed with the animation. The story was super intriguing. And it's so interesting how it's such an incredibly violent show, but had such a strong acceptance and non-violence message. It's always weird how that type of thing works. But one of the coolest parts of it was this strange running animation they did when people turned into Devilman. When I was running just now, it was like, I was really psyched to go running because they kind of have like a running theme in the show too. Like people are on the track team and stuff. And, but once again, be warned that that is, that show is not for the faints of heart. So don't go looking it up and expecting like a light romp through the woods like I normally recommend. I had a choice between eating all of the food in my house or going out for a walk in this beautiful weather. I think I made the right choice. And I came to this park, man, I don't know why I don't explore more. Although this winter, I can't be blamed because it's been so cold. I mean, I can be blamed. But it's definitely warmed up today. Man, it's really nice. If there's one thing that I've always been trying to capture from Adventure Archives is the feeling of walking in places like this. There's hints of civilization from the trails and everything and what we've left our imprint on, you know? But at the same time, it feels very much like there's so much possibility. Uh, they got frisbee golf here. That's cool. I think I'm heading back. It feels good though. Sunshine, an actual warmer weather. I can get down with that.
played in lots of different basketball leagues and stuff like that, but the best team I was ever on, each person had a specific role that they played on that team. Not everybody was a scorer, but each person knew what their role was, they played it, and we won the championship of that league. It's the same thing for any team project. If each person has something that they bring to the table and they know that that's their role and they specialize in that role, man, your heights. You can go far. So I'm watching a live stream of one of my favorite YouTubers. It's Happy Console Gamer. I got, I think, the last donation in right before he ended the stream. I haven't watched this yet, but I asked him a question. Let's hear what he says. People, oh, there's one more. Nostalgia Gamer, three dollars. Uh, congrats on ten years, John A. Love the show. If you could only pick one, Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy? The turmoil, the the scales of justice. art because Dragon Quest is, is, is a comfort zone. It's like a really amazing soup you have on a mm -hmm. cold Sunday. <laughs> you know, when you have a cold. It's just it's that kind of thing. But Final Fantasy has done so many unique things over the years right. as well. My soulmate. I, I can't pick one. I can't. I'm not gonna... I'll say that they both do some interest. I'll say Final Fantasy that it's kind of it's ventured off into some different directions where Dragon Quest is always its core foundation, which is a very positive thing. But Final Fantasy, we've explored many different kinds of worlds with many different characters in many different settings in many different time periods where Dragon Quest is really always kind of the medieval style thing. So I'll get into Final Fantasy for taking us in some different directions, but my heart's with, you know, you know obviously uh, Dragon Quest for sure. So, well... That's going to do it for today's vlog. I'm very cold and very tired for some reason. Thank you very much for watching. As always, see you tomorrow. They use like their arms and they hunch over like this. Awesome. <laughs>